where no one was doing email marketing, then yeah, send emails. But now, guess what, guys? Direct mail's probably the most, like, probably more effective now than it's ever been. I couldn't tell you the last time I got junk mail in my mailbox. This doesn't happen. I mean, I get like little Val pack stuff, but I mean, if you get a nice big postcard like Ryan does up, yeah, I mean, it's, it's going to get results. Okay, Forever Touch program. Touch on forever. Surprise. Uh, MailChimp, Aweber, Infusionsoft, do it once, automating to duplicate yourself. Okay? We were talking earlier. I honestly think I made a big mistake early on in business. I think the first employee I should have hired was an, uh, like literally a, a personal assistant. A person to do my bank deposits, clean my house, go grocery shopping, do everything, all the life. Tori and I have this joke. I have a, I have a home office in their office at Easy Pro. And like, if I have to get a bunch of stuff done, I'll say, hey, can you handle life? I gotta go over work, right? Because there's like things, and I'm just to the point now where I work so many hours, I, just, I enjoy what I do, but I work so many hours that if I'm working, I wanna be making money. And if I'm not working, I wanna be enjoying that money. I don't enjoy going and picking up dry cleaning or going to the bank and all that kind of stuff. So I made a big boo-boo. I should have hired a personal assistant early on. So that's one of my goals for this year is to have a full-time personal assistant. Uh, but MailChimp, check them out. Uh, you can actually do, it's called automation. They have a ton of YouTube videos that teaches you everything that you need to know about this. <coughs> Spoiler alert, half of you who are better in here will probably never go watch one of those YouTube videos after you leave this conference. I hate to say that, but I care about you guys. So I'm hoping by grinding a little bit harder on you, twisting your arm a little bit, that you guys will actually go watch those videos and implement this stuff, okay? It's so easy and super simple. Mailchimp's free like up to, how many? 2,000? Yeah, so I think my, my Mailchimp cost me around 75 bucks a month, but it's not, you know, it, it's crazy cheap. So Forever Touch Pro, all right, what's Sid? So here's the thing, guys. I just ran a big list. You can pick what you want. Product info, company info, salesperson info. Salesperson info, what? Yes, three things to close a deal. Product or service, company, person. Got to be closed on the three out of the ten. You guys are missing deals because you're not selling yourself. You're just selling the service. Like, hey man, come check out this eight gallon a minute power washer I got. We soft wash. We use these chemicals. Blah, blah, blah. That's great. That's the service. They still got to be sold on your company and on you. Okay? Uh, business owner, saw and thought of. Uh, I'll tell you another one. <laughs> Magazine subscriptions. If you guys have property managers, this is why I ask them their interest. I've been sending this one property manager, Running World Magazine, I see it on my credit card, um, for like probably six and a half years now. We're, we're coming up on seven years. So she gets Running World Magazine, it's like a quarterly subscription because she's a marathon runner, but I know that it sends it to her. So the subscription, check this out, it's got her name, Laura Ford, company name, Easy Pro Property Services, and then it's got her address where her office is for the management company. Yeah. And I think the magazine subscriptions are like, they're like dying, so they're just giving the stuff away now. Uh, maybe six bucks a year, 12 bucks a year, it's next to nothing. Newsletters, testimonial pages, how-to articles, phone requests, special offers, website info, okay? Got it? Yeah. More stuff. All right, social media stuff. We don't have time because I want to do some Q&A, uh, but there's lots of good info on social media. Just go to catch.me slash DJ underscore Carol, okay? Uh, that's got all of my periscopes that I've ever done on it. So it's got a, a ton of information on that. I mean, hours and hours. There's probably 20 hours. Uh, there's videos on there about LinkedIn, how to prospect on LinkedIn. Uh, you can find that at catch.me slash DJ underscore Carol. Uh, and then lastly, there's some videos on there about Facebook advertising as well. You can find that at catch.me slash Ernie. So you guys get this here. You guys should probably go to this website. Just saying, there's a lot of stuff. And watch me on Periscope uh, at DJ underscore Carol. So it's pretty simple. All right, so homework. Yes, you guys have a homework assignment. Implement immediately, okay? The plan that works the best is the one that gets done, right? So many people, theory is free. Ideas are free. Execution is where the rubber hits the road, okay? So the best idea that you got, the best plan that you got is the one that gets done. Uh, this is the other thing I want you guys to think about. How much money did you miss out on last year? You should wake up every morning thinking about that. How much money did I miss out on last year? That should be your drive, your hustle. And then focus on how great you could be. All right? All right, so that was my jabs. Bunch of free information. If you guys, anybody here, Gary V, Gary Vaynerchuk, I know Ryan does.
here comes the right hook, right? All right, the right hook shows special 12 months access to SEU, so Sales Excellence University. It's a 12 month program, two videos per week. Um, unlimited email support with me personally, so I probably get 15 to 20 messages on social media and emails every day asking me a questions I just I can't respond to them. I don't have time anymore so unlimited email support you'll get in there exclusive exclusive access to inner circle which is our Facebook group and then I'm actually adding this one on uh, that's why it's bumped up the value uh, for one-on-one -on -one Skype sessions so I'll do personal one-on-one -on -one, one hour Skype session with you for a year uh, it's about a twenty eight hundred dollar value uh, I'm only gonna do this for twelve and actually we're gonna give two away so you got business cards in there on let's pull one out let's give one away those you have one away? Yeah. They're not the ones. They're not the ones. They're not the ones. Well, they're, that's going to be somebody. There's enough in there. Somebody's going to get free access. We'll give the other one away tomorrow. Who doesn't want to win? Right? Who was that on the floor? Well, Ron's putting that together. Here's what you guys get. Uh, 24 access. <laughs> that card just doesn't want to stay in there, does it? <laughs> Two coaching sessions, unlimited email support. There's over a thousand pages of downloadable content. So when you guys go through the coaching, uh, I give you all the slideshows as well. And then there's some of the content that we cover in there as well. Let's see if we get free access here. And they get a hat. And a hat. A picture with you. A picture with you. Brandon Kitchens. Come on up, Brandon. Come on up, Brandon. Come on up. 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 Where's Jerry at? Jeremy. Jeremy Depp. Yeah, he, he's fired. Where's Jeremy Depp? Don't we'll put that back in there. No, you got to get a picture. Come on. Oh. I'm going to do this right here in the middle of your presentation. Do a little presentation. Right in the middle of it, man. <laughs> you got it? Go ahead, get it. You're hired. You're hired. Oh, Jeremy's out. Stop. You're hired. 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 You're Good job. Thanks. Cool, man. Congratulations. Oh, sorry. All right. So, uh, and so that was a free. But if anybody wants to get on the program, it's only ninety-seven dollars a month. Literally, you're putting me on email retainer uh, with all of my sales training content for ninety-seven dollars a month. So that was my right hook. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Can't wait to to talk with you guys here. And uh, any questions? Yeah. Um, so you said you were gonna send out a slide deck. Yeah. So how do I get my email address? I always wonder, because I can't tell you how many presentations people are like, oh, okay, he's going to sell outside that, and, and everybody leaves. I've done 300 people audience and nobody asks me. So come up and see me afterwards, give me your business card, I'll email it to you. So. Yeah? You talked a lot about sales, and I love everything you said. I'm just wondering, besides selling your customer, you need to sell your employees. Can you give us... Any kind of tips or that's the that's where the company comes in. So that's where uh, when you do the when you do selling the company side of it, that would be the employees or uniform, background check, drug tested, yada yada yada. Um, the, honestly, the the biggest thing that I find is like with me, I share the story of starting straight out of high school, not you know turning down the football scholarships, and then you know being an entrepreneur. Nine times out of ten, that's the people are like, oh my gosh, that's just great. So I always tell people to find that unique story, like what makes you different. And it's not, oh, we have insurance, right? Or it's not, oh my gosh, my guys are background check. There's, there has to be something, that unique story that you have and only you know, that might be a little uncomfortable telling. Not everybody wants to say, oh, I dropped out of college a year and a half in and turned out football scholarships. But I just know that that's my unique story. It comes from a, a holistic place, so I don't mind sharing that. You've got a story inside of you. You just have to bring that up and not be afraid to share it because people want to see the real you. Yeah. How do you how do you separate? I mean, obviously you can do it a little bit easier with the, the coaching and consultation. Huh? How do you separate your DJ from your Periscope from the Easy Pro on your social media platform? Right. So this is where guys are like at, they ask me, they're like, well, man, I was going to do Periscope, but nobody wants to watch me wash a house. I don't think they do yet. Okay. So like the information business, I feel like the industrial revolution, right? Like steel kind of went with the industrial revolution. I think information services kind of go with what this, we see with Periscope and all that kind of stuff. The big thing is become an expert in whatever you're doing. So like if you guys are doing power washing, I'm guessing, right? Um, if you're doing that, my personal brand kind of overshadows my six businesses. So that's why I focus on the personal brand. Plus this is what I'm really passionate about. This is what I love, this is what my true calling is. So 
if power washing isn't what you love and isn't your passion or true calling, you're going to have a problem doing that. This is me being straight with you. Not everybody wants to hear this, but I can't get on there and talk about power washing and downstream stuff. Like, Jeremy, Michael Christ is a great one. Michael Christ is just, I mean, the dude loves power washing. He really does. And he loves helping guys show them little tips and tricks. That's why his YouTube channel is the way it is. If you're marketing towards your customer, you have to talk to them in their language, what they care about. They don't care that you have an eight gallon minute machine. Like the only thing I ever talk about equipment related is say we've got custom built equipment and custom blended chemicals. And they go, okay, that's, that's all they care about. So like when I do the periscopes and the sales training and stuff, I, it's hard for me, um, it's hard for me to answer that question because it's I've had such success in my other businesses that that's kind of what my personal brand has become. So that's what I catch on to and that's what people like. Um, I think if I was on my periscope talking about power washing, um, I probably wouldn't have very many customers coming on there to see about washing their house. Um, I think the other thing that you can do is you just have to find a unique way to talk to them. Had a guy message me, an example. Had a guy message me, he goes, DJ, I see you, you're talking about these Facebook ads, and I got this thing hammered down, but what about, um, what about the interest? And I'm like, well, what's your customer interest in it? Well, how does that affect the ad? It affects it incredibly. Like, if you're going after people in Oldham County between the ages of 35 and 65 that love cats, guess what? I'm going to find there's a cute little picture out there of a cat that's like laying down getting power washed. That's going to be my picture. <laughs> like, I'm not going to say, get your house washed. Like, no, I'm going to say, do you love this picture? You love our work. Call or text. And that's the other thing with the Facebook advertising. Um, I read something the other day that in three years, 60% of the buying power in the United States is going to be 60 years and older. That means a lot. And what that means is if you're on Facebook, because my grandma's on Facebook, she lives there like nine hours a day because they get tagged and stuff all day long. But if, the, if they're there on Facebook, you still have to speak to them in their language. So if you say go fill out my online contact form, my grandma's not going to do that. But if I say call or text and I put my phone number on every single post, She'll pick up the phone call. That's what the lady did uh, that sold the house washing at the airport this morning. She just called me out. I'm like, hey, how'd you find us? She's like, actually, I think you popped up in my news feed on Facebook. And I was like, hey, imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? Awesome. Thanks, guys. You guys have been great. Thank you, DJ. Here, I got water bottles. I need good this way. Uh, let's do this. Biggest takeaway from the presentation. Biggest takeaway from the presentation. Yep, what? <laughs> no, what's your biggest takeaway? What'd you take out of that? Tons of stuff, right? There's a color envelope. Yeah, there's a color envelope. There's a color envelope. There's a color envelope. Who said that one? Try it yourself. Try it, go get something from it. What's the takeaway? Take off the return address. <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. Thanks. Hey, that was awesome, Clint. Good plan. Awesome. Thanks, man. They gave you. They gave you seven of the same certificates. Oh, wow. the same person. Isn't that one? That's wonderful. That's Kinko. <laughs> Where's Seal? There he is. Come on, Seal. Stay up. Stay up here. Stay up here. Stay up here. Stay up here. Hey, Rodney, come on up. You got seven copies. DJ. <laughs> Thanks, man. All right. <laughs> hey, lots of guys, you can get the other way for a second. Lots of guys want to know, I don't want to use Mike, or, or, or do I use Mike, let me use Mike. Lots of guys want to know how you guys got certified. Can you give us a little brief, tell these guys how you get certified, what it takes? How much it costs? Um, I got certified. Actually, it's crazy. I, um, I was at Northern Tool one day, and I met a guy in, uh, nice. talking about pressure washing and looking for a, a different tip. And uh, he told, actually, he mentioned Doug's name. 
and telling me I need to get um, I need to get involved with the UAMCCI. 